Picture a tropical haven. Palm trees sway gently in the warm breeze, their fronds dancing against a backdrop of a clear azure sky. It's an idyllic scene, a postcard perfect image of tranquility and natural beauty. Crystal clear waters lap at the shore, their gentle rhythm a soothing soundtrack to this serene environment. The beach, with its pristine sands and inviting waters, seems like the perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. But beneath this veneer of paradise, something is terribly wrong. The birds, once the vibrant heartbeat of this island, are gone. Their absence is a stark contrast to the lush greenery that surrounds you. Their songs, once a symphony of life, are replaced by an eerie silence. The forest, which should be alive with the sounds of chirping and fluttering, is now hauntingly quiet. It's as if the very soul of the island has been stolen. This is Guam, a tropical jewel in the Pacific, now trapped in a real-life horror film. Once a haven for a diverse array of bird species, it has become a silent, almost ghostly, shadow of its former self. The silence is broken only by the rustling of leaves, a sound that now seems almost ominous in its isolation. The wind whispers through the trees, but there are no birds to answer its call. But it's not birds flitting through the branches. The trees stand bare, their branches devoid of the colorful plumage that once adorned them. The canopy, once a bustling highway of avian activity, is now eerily still. It's the slithering of snakes, their scales glinting in the dappled sunlight. These silent predators move with a sinister grace, their presence a stark reminder of the island's plight. They are everywhere, these invaders, and they have brought devastation in their wake. The brown tree snake, an invasive species, has decimated the bird population, throwing the island's ecosystem into chaos. Their unchecked proliferation has turned this paradise into an island of silence, where the songs of the past are replaced by a haunting void. The once vibrant and lively forests of Guam now echo with the absence of its feathered inhabitants, a chilling testament to the destructive power of these serpentine invaders. The island's struggle is a stark reminder of the delicate balance of nature and the far-reaching consequences when that balance is disrupted. The villain in our story is the brown tree snake, an invasive species that arrived on Guam as a stowaway after World War II. With no natural predators, the snakes multiplied at an alarming rate. The island became their buffet. Native birds, having never encountered such a threat, were easy prey. One by one, species disappeared. The island's once vibrant ecosystem began to unravel. The snakes, however, continued to thrive, their numbers swelling into the millions. Desperate times call for desperate measures. In the face of an environmental crisis, Sometimes the solutions are as extreme as the problems themselves. The island of Guam was facing such a dire situation, one that required an unprecedented approach. To combat the snake plague that was wreaking havoc on the island's ecosystem, scientists devised a radical plan. This plan was not born overnight. It was the result of countless hours of research, brainstorming, and meticulous planning. The goal was clear to save the native wildlife and restore balance to the environment. The solution they arrived at was both innovative and controversial. Airdrop thousands of dead mice laced with poison onto the island. These mice were not just any ordinary rodents. They were carefully prepared to serve a very specific purpose. The mice, irresistible to the invasive brown tree snakes, were engineered to deliver a lethal dose of poison. This poison was designed to target the snakes specifically, minimizing the risk to other wildlife. The bait was meticulously crafted to ensure that it would be effective in controlling the snake population. It was a scene straight out of a dystopian nightmare. The skies over Guam were filled with the sight of dead mice falling like rain, their tiny bodies plummeting to the ground. The forest floor, once teeming with life, became a battleground in the fight for ecological balance. Hundreds of mice, their tiny bodies filled with poison, raining down from the sky. This dramatic and unsettling sight was a testament to the lengths humanity will go to in order to correct the mistakes of the past. 
The operation was a bold and daring move, one that carried significant risks, but also the potential for great rewards. The operation, while seemingly drastic, was the culmination of years of research and careful planning. Scientists and researchers worked tirelessly to ensure that every aspect of the plan was executed with precision. Their efforts were driven by a deep commitment to preserving the natural world and protecting the delicate balance of the island's ecosystem. As the data came in and the results were analyzed, there was a sense of cautious optimism. The success of this operation could pave the way for new and innovative approaches to wildlife conservation in the future. The initial results were promising. Snake populations, which had exploded out of control, began to decline. The silence that had gripped the island began to lift, ever so slightly, as if nature itself was breathing a sigh of relief. The native species, though decimated, were given a fighting chance. The hope was that with the snake population in check, the fragile ecosystem could begin to heal itself. But questions lingered. Section 5. Unintended Consequences Could the poison spread beyond the intended target, harming other animals? Could it accumulate in the environment, creating a toxic legacy? These were questions that haunted the scientists, a constant reminder of the delicate balance they were trying to restore. The long-term impact of the mouse airdrop remained uncertain. Monitoring the situation closely was crucial to track any unforeseen consequences and intervene if necessary. Section 6. The Poisoned Chalice The use of poison, even for a good cause, raises ethical questions. Was it right to unleash such a powerful weapon into the environment, even if it meant saving other species? Was there another way, a less destructive solution? The debate over the ethics of using poison in conservation efforts is complex and multifaceted. There are no easy answers, only difficult choices with potentially far-reaching consequences. Section 7. A World Intertwined The story of Guam's poisoned mice is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of ecosystems. The introduction of a single species, however innocuous it may seem, can have devastating ripple effects. It highlights the importance of preventing invasive species from gaining a foothold in the first place. The delicate balance of nature is easily disrupted, and the consequences can be severe. Section 8. Treading Carefully As we grapple with the challenges of a changing world, from climate change to habitat loss, we find ourselves at a critical juncture. The evidence of our impact on the planet is undeniable, manifesting in the form of deforestation, melting glaciers, and the heartbreaking sight of polar bears stranded on diminishing ice. Forest fires rage with unprecedented intensity, and coastal erosion threatens communities worldwide. In the face of these daunting challenges, we must proceed with caution. Environmental interventions, while well-intentioned, can sometimes lead to unforeseen consequences. Scientists and conservationists are working tirelessly in the field, examining the environment, taking meticulous notes, and striving to understand the intricate balance of nature. Their work is crucial, but it is also a reminder that our actions must be guided by careful planning and scientific rigor. The importance of environmental impact studies cannot be overstated. These studies, often involving sophisticated scientific equipment and extensive fieldwork, help us predict the potential outcomes of our interventions. Team discussions and ethical debates among scientists are essential to ensure that our actions are not only effective but also morally sound. We must consider the long-term effects of our decisions on the environment and the species that inhabit it. The future of our planet depends on it. Pristine landscapes and endangered species in their natural habitats are treasures that we must strive to protect. Conservation efforts are underway across the globe, but they require our collective support and commitment. Let the story of Guam serve as both a warning and a call to action. This small island, with its unique ecosystem, has faced significant environmental challenges, but it also offers hope through dedicated conservation efforts. We must tread carefully, for the web of life is fragile and easily broken. Each thread in this web represents a connection between species, ecosystems, and the environment. A delicate spider web in nature, a fragile coral reef, 
a bird's nest in a tree. All these elements are interconnected. Our actions can either strengthen or weaken these connections. By treading carefully, we can ensure that the web of life remains intact for future generations to cherish and protect.